Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Swati. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Did you know that sequencing may help us find natural ways to lose weight? Cool, Nell. We have operators standing by. <laughs> <laughs> well, but seriously, you know, obesity is a major risk factor for diseases like cancer, metabolic syndrome, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and many more. Some people struggle more to lose weight than others. Today, we'll explore how sequencing can help us understand factors that hinder or promote weight loss. The fat mass and obesity associated FTO gene was the first gene identified by genome-wide association studies as a strong candidate for obesity-related phenotypes in Caucasians. And having the same cluster of SNPs on both copies in the first intron of the FTO gene is associated with an approximately 65% greater risk for obesity. This study how the FTO gene is associated with body fat composition in response to exercise, Rankinen et al. used next-gen sequencing to identify the FTO genotype in participants. Participants were then put on a 20-week customized exercise program. So before we go any further, every cell has two copies of a gene. We get one copy from each parent. Copies called alleles can be the same, which means they're homozygous, or different, meaning they're heterozygous. Their results showed that sedentary Caucasian men, not women, <laughs> yeah, you luck, lucked out there, <laughs> homozygous for the risk allele were fatter and heavier than those heterozygous for the risk allele. So having the obesity risk allele in the FDO gene makes it difficult to lose weight even when you exercise compared to individuals who don't have the risk allele. You know, that's absolutely right. You know, and so it means that people with the risk allele would have to work out more and eat less to lose fat. That's certainly possible, you know. Factors such as environment and diet play an equally important role, if not greater, in your ability to lose weight. That's very true. And a recent paper by Evans et al. studies the impact of exercise on weight gain and the composition of the gut microbiota in mice that are fed a high fat versus those that are fed a low fat diet. Diet induced obesity has been linked to structural and functional changes in the gut microbiota. But this group wanted to study, wanted to understand if exercise alters the gut microbiota in addition to a high fat diet. They use sequencing to identify microbes that make up the gut microbiota of mice that were fed a high fat diet or a low fat diet with and without exercise. What they find is that exercise changes the microbes that colonize your gut, promoting beneficial microbes to colonize your gut that could in turn help prevent weight gain due to a high fat diet. Microbes play a major role. They help us absorb nutrients, maintain healthy microbiota in our gut, and help us evade inf infections, ADI immune systems, and much more. It's very true. Now, the food you eat has a major impact on which microbes colonize your gut and how the chemicals or byproducts they produce in turn keep us healthy. Sequencing is helping us better understand how much risk we inherit and also the role the environment plays in weight control. Well, Swati, that's all time we have today. Uh, if you will leave a comment or ask a question, please feel free. We'll love to hear from you. Just leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, bye. Bye.